What is up guys, I'm here with Wim, Captain Wim. Captain Wim, yes. <laughs> uh, and you got top 16 yeah. at the U, not UK, European finals. Yep. And uh, what did you play? Uh, I played Yellow Broly, standard leader, yep. with the apes package, it's really really strong. Three Goku Blacks. Sometimes it gets sound, most of the time I just charge it, unless I have one of the apes in hand. You can ditch the ape with the black effect. Two Jerembas, I already have to give one back because I borrowed one from someone. Yeah. It's basically just a one drop 20k if on turn 3 you did find your ape. It's really yeah. really strong. Three counterplay Gohans. Three counterplay Champas. Your energy package with Bujaks and Beerus. The Bujaks do get summoned sometimes, but most of the time they are just to charge on turn 1 and on turn 2 you get uh, with the Beerus. Yeah. But sometimes they come up with their arrival. Like one game I drop 3 on him in one combo phase and not very often though. For super combos, if I could change this, I would play 3 of these and one Jayco or something, another one. That just gives plus 10 base. All right, okay. It wasn't super relevant, but sometimes. Then one of Cooler for counterplays. Then finishers, we have two Miras and two Champas. Normally I would play Kai because she's better, but I couldn't find my Kai, so I play Champas. Potara, mostly used as energy, not super relevant every game. I did, it came up twice against Toa to tap him out and go for a game. One Ultra Instinct Goku from the draft box, the yeah. counterplay 4 drop. He cost me my game in top 16 because I'm stupid. <laughs> well, what happened in that? Well, I correctly identified that he was going to try and beat me with the 7 drop Frieza I was playing against Dende. And he did that. He, uh, he did Revival of the Emperor on his Occupation of Evil. And when he went up to the 7 drop, instead of playing Bloodlust on it, I played Ultra Instinct on it. But it tapped me out and I didn't have the Zeno button, which will come up later. Uh, what I should have done is I should have bloodlusted. And then I had energy left to play this on his other revival of the Emperor. And then his turn would have been finished, he couldn't kill me and I would have killed him on the swing back because he didn't have any negates and I had five double strikers. So, yeah. a shame, but something to be learned from that. And for extra cards we have... Two Planet Vegeta, searches your apes, restands your apes, really, really strong. Bloodlust, it's still insane even when it's put to one, if you draw it, it's just so strong. Four beans, used for defense or extending your plays, dropping multiple apes. This is the key of the deck, pretty much. It lets me tap out, go aggressive with apes, and then when they try to swing at me, I just zen a button, drop other apes, or continue my plays. Yeah. Two time magics, this is actually the only difference in the list from Richard Zapp. Uh, Richard is a good friend of mine and we talked a lot about the deck. And he said that him playing Nimbus was definitely the wrong call because you have so many counterplays and so many... You have Senzu Beans, you have your Apes that tap stuff. You don't really need the Nimbus, it just negs you and time magic is a lot better in the Shenron matchup. Or the yeah. Poranga matchup. And last, one desperate measures. It works against counterplays. Never came up once during the 11 rounds I played, I never used it. Uh, most of the time I sided out for a second cooler, he was a lot more relevant in this meta for me. Mm. Okay, uh, would there be any changes to the main? No, the main is really really good like it is, there's like not a single card that disappoints me. I might just swap out this for a second cooler, but this is also... If you're playing against counterplay heavy decks like this deck is, that is really good. Because for one mana you stop their uh, chump power, their goans. Okay. So yeah. is good. Yeah. You wanna see Psyduck also? Yeah. I'll just clean this up. I'm going to cut all this out because it's yeah. going to get caught. <laughs> so in the side deck we have against Janemba these two. If I combo with this one I can put uh, three battle cards of cost. Two or more, I think, and a 35k or less back into the deck. Yeah. He's just a counter counter that basically does the same. Played against one Janemba, sided these in, beat him because of it. Really, really good card. Nice. For the mirror, I didn't expect a lot of them, but I still wanted it to bounce their apes when they go aggressive with the apes. 
and the rest is basically all for Shenron. Have one desperate measures also for the mirror. Yeah. And then we have the Shenron package of three ejections, two Mafubas, and three Black Mask Saints, and I played against a grand total of zero Shenrons. <laughs> so all of this was hardly ever used. I sided this in against Toa, but they had this against top 16. I also sided in against the Frieza, but basically never used any of this except for yeah, him. There was a lot of Shenron around, but they, yeah, but they I just dropped dropped dodged all of them yeah. really quickly, I think. The Shenrons were... Apart uh, from Anthony. <laughs> apart from Anthony, they got uh, <laughs> molested very early. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> yep, thanks. And, uh, yeah. Three, four top 16. Oh, also thanks to uh, Ultimate Guard for all the swag they sent us for this tournament. Oh yeah. They sent us sleeves, sleeves. deck boxes, lanyards, baseball caps. They sent us a lot of stuff, and I want to thank them for that. Great. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Good no luck problem. in the future. Thank you. Hey, <laughs>